Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the Inflow CX session today, the webinar. Uh, my name is Todd A. Williams. I'm a solutions, a senior solutions engineer here at Inflow CX. I'm very excited to go over uh, surveys with you today. Uh, yes, you're in the right spot. I mean, this is best practices for using Genesis surveys, uh, but I've renamed it to be really a condensed model of the 101 on Genesis Cloud surveys. I've uh, been in the industry myself over 22 years, focused on interactive intelligence and Genesis products. And today, let's go into the agenda. So today we're going to kind of cover who is InfoCX, what are surveys, you know, we do that 50,000 foot overview of what a survey is and what, what the advantages of it. We're also going to go on what is available with Genesis Cloud CX. Uh, I'm going to go over how to set it up, and then we're going to jump into a quick question and answer session. So let's get started. Who is InfoCX? Well, InfoCX is a provider of strategic advisory deployment and managed services for contact center, customer experience, and unified communications. We can provide the guidance, the execution, and optimization of your engagement strategy. Our expertise spans the technology, as well as maybe labor strategies, and optimization. We can provide a vendor agnostic approach if you're not sure of the technology that you want to invest in. We have over a thousand customers to date, and we've deployed over 500 cloud contact uh, solutions. Go ahead and check out our reviews on both G2 and on Glassdoor. Here's a quick overview of some of our customers. And it's a small snippet, but really what I want you to focus on is the fact that we have customers in all the major vertical areas within the industries. And reass rest assured, we've got the expertise to help you and your organization if you want to engage with Inflow CX. From a partner perspective in technology, we, we partner with industry leading technology uh, providers out there like Genesis, 5.9, nice. We also dive into some of the more specialized areas like around workforce management, quality and analytics, maybe even agent assist. Rest assured, these partnerships allow us to really understand what's out there in industry so we can provide that expert guidance to you as a customer. But what we really wanna to get to today is really around surveys. And from our survey perspective, let's jump into it from a 50,000 foot level. What are surveys? Surveys are the ability to capture information around your customers and specifically their experience. You know, and the key takeaway is really what type of experience did they have? You know, capturing what was that experience and seeing it through their lens or hearing their voice, you know, giving that opportunity to tell you what occurred. The three metrics that I want you to kind of focus on is the three W's. You know, who was involved? What determined that experience? And why did they contact you? I mean, the who is really around not just the customer, but also the agent. I mean, who is involved in that whole experience, uh, both on, uh, on both ends of that spectrum, as well as you know, going into the what. What determined that experience? Was it a specific thing that the agent did? Was it something that occurred while the agent was engaged with that customer? And more importantly, again, with that why, why did they contact you? Within Genesis, What's available out of box, you know, from a native uh, integration is the ability to do digital surveys, web surveys. This is delivered through an email or through an SMS. This can be included, this is included with the Genesis Cloud CX3 license, or you can add a workforce engagement management license to an existing CX1 or CX2 license. Additional information can be found at help.mypurecloud.com if you do a, a query on a web surveys. And you can even take advantage of post-call surveys. Uh, today, you're gonna have to leverage an App Foundry partner uh, for that functionality, which would require some additional licensing and setup costs. But on the roadmap is, it, is to have this 
feature included with the Genesis Cloud CX3 license, uh, tentatively to come out in 2023. So how does this all work? How do we get this set up? Engage, info would be your partner, you can engage us, or as, you, as I show you through a demonstration, how you can kind of set it up on your own. But if you engage Inflow or do it internally, the first thing I would suggest is start off with setting up that use case. What is your use case for your surveys? Which channels do you want to offer it to? Do you want to offer it to all your channels from omni-channel experience? Do you want to offer it just for your inbound calls? Maybe just the digital channels? What is the method that you want to let your customer know that they're going to get a survey? Do you want to be proactive about it? Do you want to just send the survey afterwards without information? How do you want that invite to go out? All those things could, would be, we can sit down and review with you and discuss how that's going to be constructed. But what I think is more exciting is let's just dive into a demonstration and show you how this can be done within the platform. So within Genesis Cloud CX, uh, this is the, the platform. That's a portal uh, that I logged into. Based on your roles and permissions as a user, you can be provided access to the, the tools to configure surveys. So based on that licensing that we discussed earlier, I'm going to come in here and set up, that, set up the parameters. There's three components. Those three components are around building that survey, setting up the invite for that survey, and then finally activating through a policy to, to take that survey. The first thing, based on, as an, a quality administrator, you might have access to quality containers within Genesis Cloud. You would come in and build a survey form. Very easy to come in here and create a form on the fly through the form editing user interface. You can set up your survey. You can add maybe a header and a footer, footer to that survey. You can put in the name of that survey. You can add the question. Uh, and question groups. So you can segment your survey into different groups of maybe agent-specific questions and then overall experience questions. From a group perspective, you can choose one to many questions and you can choose what kind of questions they are. So maybe you want multiple choice, yes, no, or maybe you want to set up a net promoter score. Very easy to do. Once you define the question, you can uh, the question uh, types, you can go in there and put in your questions as well as set up the scoring. You know, what are the points for those questions? You may have some questions in there that have no point value other than to, to just capture some information and or engage that customer to continue taking the survey. You can have questions that may take up 50% of the score that they're very important to you as an organization to really understand and have that customer, whatever they choose is a big uh, uh, critical a metric that you want to leverage going forward as far as your surveys go. Again, very easy to configure and set up these surveys, very easy to make changes to these surveys. Going back into the survey forms, I've got an example one that I've already set up. Once you've created that survey, you save it and you publish it so it's available for the system to be used uh, for, uh, for any of those interactions coming in. Again, you define those questions. You set up the, the scoring for those questions. Uh, you define any additional header or footer. You can preview it to kind of see from your perspective what the customer is going to see when they click on that to take that web survey. If there's changes that you want to do later, it will keep track of those changes and put out a new version of that survey, which is really cool. So maybe you put out a survey. And then after a while, you want to adjust maybe the points uh, that's assigned to those questions, or maybe even change the questions. All that information from those previous surveys will still be intact. And then all the new survey information will be captured. And then you can have an easy way to look back at those surveys. Again, we've built our survey. We've published it. It's ready to go. Next step in this whole process is defining the invite. So to tell the system what to do at the end of that interaction to trigger this survey to be sent out. That's done through what we call architect within Genesis Cloud. Within architect, you have the ability to come in here and uh, do a survey invite. That survey invite uh, will allow you to build the logic that that logic is going to define maybe 
what type of conversation, maybe for a call versus a chat versus an SMS uh, interaction, you want to do something or provide a different message to that recipient for them to click and take that survey. So you build a very simple or complex, but ideally pretty simple flow for that survey. And then based on some logic, or maybe based on uh, information contained about that contact that you've captured, you choose what you want to do. Maybe you want to send an SMS invite versus sending an email invite. So very easy to come in here, define that, and then based on that, you build out that email that's going to be sent out, the verbiage that's going to be in the body, who it's coming from, what's the target address. So very easy to set up those flows to send that actual invite out to that customer at the end of that interaction. Maybe you put a delay in there. Maybe you don't want that survey to go out right away. Maybe there's a delay that you want in there before that survey is actually sent out. So all those customizations can be defined and configured within what we call architect. Now, since we've got a survey form set up, we've got what to do when that uh, interaction finishes as far as getting that survey sent out. Now we have to actually turn on the survey process. So from that perspective, we're going to go back into the over uh, into the administration and we're going to set up a policy. So within the policies, we're going to define to turn on that survey. So within you're going to define a simple configuration policy. This policy can be defined by media type. So you can define whether I want to survey for a call, a chat, an email, or a message. Maybe I want it for all of them or just a group of them. You can define as it all inbound calls, maybe outbound calls, maybe specific teams, or maybe specific users that you want to do this survey on to kind of do that spot check on specific agents. Down here on the very right is where we would turn on the surveys. So within that policy, I would activate that survey. I would choose that survey that I've built and I've published. I also choose the flow that I've created. And again, we have to publish that flow so it's, a, it's available and active, ready to go. I can set up the user. Uh, so set up a friendly user that they know as well as the domain that it's coming from. So when they get that email, that they know that it's coming from uh, a safe place from you as an organization, that it's not spam. You also have the ability to set up invitations. This is a really cool feature that's very easy to configure. One to many invites could be sent after the previous invite occurs. These invites will only occur if the customer has not started a survey or finished a survey. So if they've already engaged with that link and started filling it out, or if they've already filled it out, these invitations will not will not occur. So we're not going to spam the customer if they've already taken the survey. So again, it's very easy to, to activate these. And if they've already taken the survey, nothing additional is going to occur for, for that customer as far as getting any additional messages. So now that we've got the surveys set up we, and, and they're activated, the policies in place, all these interactions are going to be coming in and based on this policy and what you've set up to match for those to those interactions to get those surveys, those survey invitations will start going out. The customer is going to start filling out those surveys. That's when the supervisor or maybe an admin would come in and say, I want to see how we're performing. I want to look at those surveys. And that's the performance. We're going to go into a view. So within Genesis Cloud, um, we leverage analytic views to provide that information to the to you as a supervisor or an admin. Coming in here, I'm going to go into the survey performance view. And you can choose what date range do I want to look at? Do I want to look at just today? Maybe a previous week? Do I want to define a custom date range that I want to look at those surveys? Maybe I just want to look at for this month or a previous month. Easy to define that timeline. And then within that timeline, I'm gonna get an overview of how many surveys were sent out. What was the response percentage? What, which ones are still waiting for them to either start the survey or to finish it? Again, once they start filling it out, we'll have a progress uh, statistic here to say how many are uh, actually in flight. And then we got our, 
or additional, like if there was any problems with a survey, what, maybe there was an error or maybe the, the, uh, the survey expired. I mean, there's, a lot, there's all kinds of other things that you have statistics around that survey. Ultimately, you're looking at the score and the MPS, and, if, and specifically, if the survey has an MPS question, what does that MPS score look like? You can drill into that survey. Uh, again, this is where the version comes. So if you have different versions, you'd be able to compare those versions to each other. You can drill into that version as far as seeing what that summary is around those, uh, those different questions as far as the responses and those scores. You can drill into an individual survey. Everything that you're looking at can be exported. Very easy up here on the right-hand side to do an export either as a CSV or a PDF file. We can even schedule this. If there's a, a requirement that you want these survey results to be like exported uh, on a daily basis, very easy to select and do that export of that, that survey. Hey, Todd, it looks like yes. there is a question in the chat. Um, yes. Someone asked, can you choose to view performance for days of the week? Um, example, all Mondays over the past you know, three months. So there's currently you have the ability to just pick and choose a, a range of dates. So I can do a, a, a few days. I can do a specific date or a month. Or, but as far as picking a specific day per week and comparing it across a, a range, that would have to be leveraged through the API. And that's a really great question because, I mean, Genesis Cloud is based on RESTful APIs. You could leverage those APIs to say, I want to pull out that statistics. And maybe you have a BI tool that you want to pull this information into. You can leverage the APIs to pull the data out of Genesis and put into your BI tool. Maybe it's Power BI, maybe it's Tableau, uh, or maybe some other platform from that perspective. And then you can slice and dice the data even more granular than what's in the views today. Another uh, cool thing is, that's a great question as far as maybe an idea for Genesis. Uh, Genesis does have a great ideas portal for all their customers that you can post an idea and those ideas get looked at by Genesis. And those ideas can be put into the product as far as future changes. So that's a, a cool thing uh, from a Genesis pers perspective is releases for Genesis come out every week. Every Wednesday is a release of any new features or functionality. And uh, you're always on the latest and greatest. So again, great idea to put out there to the, the site on Genesis so they can get that in the, into the, the, the bucket as far as ideas, as far as improvements. But again, this is what's in av available today from a user interface, but definitely through the API, we could access that information. Awesome. And it looks like we had another question come through. Um, if using a free flow question, can you export a set of results to see the responses in a CV? Great question. Today, you cannot uh, do that through the user interface. You would definitely have to leverage the API to access that information. Um, but again, another idea that we can put out there for Genesis to give that, uh, that ability, because yeah, that is uh, actually, that's a big uh, question that comes up uh, from time to time because that free form information is critical information for you as an organization because it's it's not a specific yes no uh, a scale or range it's information to be captured and put into your uh, database to be used for around your experience focus for your customers um, but yes today it, it cannot be done through the tool uh, but it can be leveraged through the API. It looks like there's also another question. Hmm. Around heaviest call volume. Do we... I think that was in response to the Got it. specific okay. um, date for Got filtering it. the responses. So I believe we are good to move on. All right. Thank you. Yeah, feel free to throw those out there. I, unfortunately, I'm glad. I got Kylie on the line to kind of monitor that because yeah, I'm kind of focused on going through this. But yeah, bring up any questions as I'm going through this. Um, nice overview page, again, through the views within the interface. The most power is through the API, especially if you want to export this information and put it into your backend power uh, or BI 
uh, tool of some for some force. Um, as we go through this, I mean, we've, we've covered on how you can look at the information from uh, a supervisory perspective. Uh, we can drill into this within the UI. We have the ability to, to see details around those questions. We can make changes to those surveys on the fly. We can also um, make have multiple surveys. I mean, we talked, we were focusing on one here, but maybe you have a different survey based on the type of channel. Maybe you have a different survey based on the, the business unit and all those can be tracked within the platform and you can segregate those statistics and that information to those appropriate teams uh, so that they only have access to their information or even maybe access to make changes to the surveys that they, they are concerned about. As I kind of wrap up on the overview as far as, far as from a demo perspective, uh, if there's any additional questions, please, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, from that perspective, I'm going to jump back over to here, uh, open it up for any additional questions. If you do have any additional questions, uh, and I, I'll just pause here in case there are any additional questions, because I can just flip back over. Okay. So then I'm just going to kind of flip and get, go to the last slide here as far as from uh, getting in touch. Again, InfoCX is here. Reach out to us if you want to engage us. We'd be excited to work with you in uh, getting your survey set up within your current Genesis Cloud environment. You can reach out to us for any of your other needs around technology, uh, labor strategies, uh, or maybe even optimization of your contact center, or maybe even some unified communication uh, integrations. So. Very excited to, to show all this to you today, and I hope everybody has a great day.